I'm trying to retrieve a clog over a database link and I get an error, I didn't speak what the error was, whenever I try to do it, how do I access a clog from a remote database? So we'll see what the error is in a second and let's give it a run. So I'll create a table called T in the Scott scheme, that's got C called clob, and I'll insert a very interesting clob, just 32,000 X's. And says my clob. I chose a nice big one because I don't want to. I don't want the database to be um, the results to be distorted in case I typed a small one and it got treated as a varchar two, etc. I connect to a remote database now, and I'm going to try come back and access this local one. So I'll create a database link called get clob. It connects to Scott Tiger on this local database. There I can describe it fine. I can say, go show me the description of this table over the remote database. It says, yep, that's no problems. It's got a column called C. It's a clob. But if I try query it. I get, sorry, you cannot use lob locators selected from remote tables. This is a well-known problem. How do I get access to a clob over these tables? This is the easiest way to do it I've found, and it, it solves all the problems. I simply create a global temporary table on my local instance with a SQL to clob, because even though you can't do select star from the remote table, you can do insert select star. That's no problems. So I simply insert into my global temp table locally, select star from my remote table. That drags the clob into this local global temporary table, and I can now use it. There's my 32,000 characters. Nice and easy. Now, what's the true problem? Now, I've glossed over something here, and that was the details of the database I was connecting to. The true problem here is nothing to do with clobs and nothing to do with database links. The true problem is this. If I go look at that remote database, the one I created the club in, it's a version 11 database. It's an old database. If I look at the database I'm currently on now, which is trying to talk to that version 11 database, it's a 12.1 database. So this is a genuine problem that existed a decade ago. If I connect to my 21C database, here's my 21C database, just to prove I'm not doing any lying here with this, it actually is a genuine 21C database, 19 is the same. If I now go try query that database version 11 club, once again with a database link, I get a better error message. It says, you can't do distributed lobs are not supported on anything before 12.2, which is what that demo was. It was version 12.1 to version 11, and I had the error. It's an error that used to be there, and you'll still see a thousand blog posts about it out there saying, oh, yeah, you can't access clubs and stuff over database links. That's true back in 11.2 and 12.1. And that error message is the hint that says, maybe this is a problem that's been solved. Let's have a look. Let's now connect to a version 19 database. Create a table with a club in it, put in the same 32,000 characters. Let's go to my 21C database, create a database link back to the version 19 database. So now they're both above 12.2. If I do select star from club table at remote database, it just works. If you are, stuck on these old unsupported versions. The workaround is use a global temporary table. You can even use a remote view to extract parts of the clobs. But really, there's a much easier solution. Get on a supported version of the database. Once you're on 12.2 or above, this problem ceases to exist. It's a problem that's so well known and people still talk about it today, but the problem's gone. We solved it from 12.2 onwards. All you have to do is be on an upgraded version of the database. So another reason why you should always be upgrading and staying up to date with your database technology.